Within the group of rocky planets, Earth is the densest and largest. Its core is believed to be made up mainly of iron 90% and nickel 10%. And curiously, it is in a solid state in its internal part due to the great gravitational pressures to which it's subjected. But the distinguishing characteristic of our planet is, without a doubt, its abundance in water, which in a liquid state covers 70% of its surface. Our planet could be called the blue planet. The natural greenhouse effect of our atmosphere allows the average temperature of the planet to be 15 degrees centigrade and it has become a true home for the deployment of life as we know it. Our home, Earth, is wonderful and unique in the solar system. It constantly expresses harmony and balance between the five systems that constitute it geosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere, pedosphere and atmosphere. These interact with each other, complementing and self-regulating themselves so that as a whole we can say that the Earth in itself behaves like a great living being. To speak of the Earth is to speak of a wonderful balance between all the elements that compose it, and this makes it extremely special. For the Greeks, the Earth was the first deity to be identified with the oldest goddess of Olympus, Gaia or Gaia, whom Hesiod called the one with the broad chest for her ability to be the giver of life. She created the solar system and she engendered the first gods and the first race of titans. We know that our beautiful planet is exceptional in the solar system. When ancient civilizations developed their myths and symbols about the earth, they did so because they understood that the wheel of life was constantly emerging and sinking in their own strength and they called her Universal Mother. They intuited assertively that she is alive, that she shudders in her trembling, breathing and feeding on its own creation. For the Greeks, the goddess of harmony and concord is the daughter of Venus, love, and Mars, war. In a profound interpretation, our beautiful planet traces its path amidst these two forces that accompany and guard it. It is the representation of harmony in pure state. It results inspiring to think that our home, our celestial house, the place that cherishes all the traces of our experiences, the source of protection and creation of life, the one that teaches, cares for and sustains all its creatures, the origin and end of our cycles begin in it and they will return to it. No other planet in the solar system that we are aware of can house the privileged conditions to give life as we know it. The Earth is a soul full of harmony, possibilities, heroism and persistent struggle. She can reverse any threat, any imbalance, any difficulty, creating the ideal solutions to maintain and protect all her children, all the creatures and forms of life that emanate from herself. The Earth is perfect balance, it is constant struggle, it is the soul of heroes. We know that the Earth connects us in harmony when we are able to contemplate, to know, to appreciate and live the world of the sublime, the beautiful, the just, the luminous. It is its essence bringing us closer to the consciousness of unity. Like a work of art, nothing on Earth exists by chance. Everything in it is the expression of the intelligence and magnanimity of the universe. Earth is the home of heroes, the children of Eros, the children of love. Like our mother, all her creatures are endowed with a heroic fire that lives in her soul. That is why we must honor her by striving to be worthy children of her archetypal nature. Let us undertake the noble heroic fight, 
Let us be worthy children of Mother Earth. Let us take care of her as she cares for us. Let us be noble of heart, honest, fighters of work, of joint efforts. Let us trust the profound wisdom of our solar system and build a better, kinder, peaceful and fraternal world for all, without distinction.